guys, this is Stacy from Stacy Makes Sense coming at you today with a book review. I thought it would be easier for me to speak to you instead of write today because I wanted you to be able to hear the excitement in my voice about this book and um, so that you could see exactly how excited we are about it and how much it's changed our life here at our house and just give you a little bit of uh, input and uh, high points on it so you can see if it's a book that you'd like to read for yourself. So today I am reviewing the life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo. Now, let me tell you why I'm, I've read this book. We went on vacation to see one of my good friends, and when we got home, I was really overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I had to put away and how much stuff was here, and it was kind of like I hit one of those, oh my gosh, this has to end moments, where I would have formerly, formerly told you that I wasn't a pack rat and that we were semi-minimalists, but I found out that that was not the case. So I decided that we were going to declare our whole house. And something about me that you might not know, when I get on a mission, watch out. Pray for Barry. So I got on Pinterest and I was looking around for ways to simplify toys because I had read something on um, Large Families on Purpose blog and in Large Family Logistics about centralizing toys instead of having toys in bedrooms. And so we had toys in several different parts of the house because I wanted to have toys in each place so that wherever the kids were, they had toys to play. So while I was looking on Pinterest for that, I came across a review on this book. And so then I started reading on this book and I realized it was something that I wanted to read for myself because all the blogs I read gave it really high points. So I requested it for my library. Now it's a really, it's a really popular book right now. So I had to wait over a month to get it. So while I was in the process of waiting for this book, I started decluttering the house. Now I kind of wish I hadn't done that because her points and her methods for the order to go in your house make a whole lot of sense and I wish I had started that way. But instead what I'm having to do is finish up that way. So, um, when my book came in from the library, I started reading it, and I probably only got a fourth of the way through before I was like, oh my goodness, I want this book. So, I actually got on Amazon and purchased it, and it's only around $8. So, I would say, you know, the library wait's probably going to be long because it's so popular. It is totally worth $8. And this is coming from the girl who reuses plastic utensils. So, worth $8. I have read a whole lot of decluttering posts from um, different places and blogs and nothing hit home with me like this book. The overall idea for it is that the things in your life should spark joy and if they don't, you don't need them. So it's kind of a minimalist book, but mostly it's a surround yourself with things that bring you joy, which makes complete and total sense to me but I've never heard anyone approach it that way. Most people are like, okay, today throw away seven items or look through your wardrobe and only pick out 25 things to keep. Whereas this approach speaks to the heart, which for women I think is a huge deal. So um, what brings you joy keeping your life if it doesn't pitch it? So she says to go in the order of clothing, books, papers, which includes um, taxes and just basically anything papers around your house. Then kimono, which is miscellaneous, which would include basically anything else in your house. CDs, DVDs, jewelry, kitchen stuff, um, anything that doesn't fall in the other categories. And then the last one is sentimental. And she says to go in that order because those are easiest to hardest. And if you started with sentimental things first, then you probably wouldn't finish um, going through your whole house. So once you start with the easy things like clothes, then by the time you get to sentimental things, you know what you're doing, you know what the purpose is, so you're able to do it all without, don't start with the hardest stuff first. Um, I've been, okay, I'm a Christian, you all know that, so I was asked by several people why I would be reading this book when it's decidedly not Christian. Hey, Marie Kondo is not a Christian. She's Japanese. She comes at this from a Japanese standpoint, and she believes that objects in your house have feelings and personality, which I don't believe that. So she's going to say some things in this book where you're like, what? Come in my house and, you know, say thank you for doing your job house and thank you to your items. I'm not going to do that. But I feel like 
if you are strong enough in your faith, and I'm strong enough in my Christian faith, and I'm able to read this book and chew up the meat and spit out the bones. So just like any other book, even Christian books, I'm going to read. I'm not going to agree with everything in there. I'm just not. Nobody's going to agree with everything you have to say unless through yourself. So, chew up the meat and spit out the bones. Some of the stuff in here, just whoosh, right over my head. I'm not going to do. Like she says, empty your purse every day when you come home. I'm sorry. I'm not going to empty my purse every day when I come home. I'm just not. But there's, there's so much info and so many little gems in this book that have completely revolutionized the way I think about clutter that I would say that this is a must read for any any person, anybody. Everybody in the world should read this book. In fact, I'm going to buy everyone this book for Christmas on my Christmas list. Family, it's coming! Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. And I've had friends who I would tell them points from this book and they were like, that's silly. I'm not going to do that. That's crazy talk. And then they read the book and they're like, that makes complete sense. So I'm going to tell you that this has completely changed our life. We have decluttered almost the entire house and it has become easier for me to clean. I'm finally using the things that bring me joy. Whereas before I would save things that brought me joy for special occasions and then sometimes even on special occasions I wouldn't even bring them out. So we're using our favorite china. I'm wearing my favorite clothes. I'm using my favorite pots and pans. And the things that I had around just because I felt like I needed to have them around, they've left. And we've sold some things. We need to do a post on that soon. We've sold a whole bunch of stuff and made some money to make some changes around the house. And we've also just streamlined everything so it makes it so much easier to clean. I'm so much more laid back. Um, it's easier for the kids to pick up. It's easier for me to pick up. We just, it, it's like a load. When the clutter left our house, so did a majority of my stress. Because if your house is cluttered, you can't help but be stressed. So I can definitely say that this has changed how we do things here. And if you follow me on Instagram, Stacy Walker Myers, I'll put that link below, you'll see that I've been working my way through this book with you guys. So I post pictures as we're decluttering and sending stuff out. And you all have been very interactive and we're having a good time. So um, you can use the hashtag clutter clear out, which is what I've been using for all of my um, KonMari, which that's the combination of her names, KonMari. Uh, posts have clutter clear out hashtags so you can search back and see all those I've done but I'm still working through it with the Instagram folks and we're really enjoying it so I hope you'll hop on over there so that you can see me finish up this process I do plan on also doing some posts on the blog about um, how we change the kids toys and maybe some posts on good uh, gift ideas that aren't clutter because if we're getting the clutter out we don't want the clutter to come back in and Marie says that once you start approaching your life with, does this bring me joy, that you will never fall back into your old pit of clutter around your house. So we are super excited, and I would say this is worth the read and pick up, even if there's going to be some kooky parts in it, just like I said, chew up the meat, spit out the bones, and that's all I have for you today. Can you tell I'm just a little bit excited? about this book.